Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be the Minnesota Lynx going up against the Atlanta Dream. I'm Blake Suniga, and with me at the broadcast table are Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi. And we should be in for a rebounding battle in this one. Both of these teams love to control the boards. So what are your thoughts on this matchup, Tim? Well, I mean, no rebounds are going to come easy in this one. These squads know how to box out. They know how to get physical, and they'll be working hard for those extra possessions. We'll have to keep an eye on who's getting more second chance points because in that tug of war under the hoop, that's going to be the best indicator for who's going to win. Here's Billings. There's a screen. Down to five on the shot clock. Number three, Ryan Howard. And Cam Beige pulls it down. Here's Ball Queen. Pass to Collier. Misamon. Here's Ball Queen. Free throw line jumper. And it's Ryan Howard with the rebound. And here is Gray. Outside McDonald. Howard. Pass to McDonald. Back to Gray. Now Parker. Defended by Cambage. Duchess with it. To the paint. Nice shot by Cambage. Around the rim, Cambage's height gives her a big edge. She makes draining that shot look easy. Outside McDonald. Out to Gray. Back to McDonald. Parker with the screen. And Erie McDonald gets the three. With the quickness that McDonald has, it is not easy to defend Airy in the pick and roll. Pass to Collier. Now here's Cambage. Got a piece of it. A steal by McDonald. Here's Howard. And Cambage pulls it down. Another miss. One for four here early. And here are the links now. Well, there are so many things that players like to do to unwind. But what if I told you that Ryan Howard loves to draw and that painting cartoon characters is her favorite? Nice silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feet. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. The lob, the slam, a work of art. I hope there's a genie here because if there is, I wish, I wish really badly that we get to see a few more of those. And one of the brightest young stars in the league, Ryan Howard. Howard, just so many off-the-floor talents. In addition to, to painting, Howard loves to crochet. They, she plays the piano, creates graphics. And Ryan Howard, just a, a brilliant player and a brilliant person. Collier can't get it to go. The dream trail. Pass to Howard. And here's McDonald. Gray, covered by Collier. Here's Billings. Shoots over Misamon. The Dream again can't hit. Now here's Ball Queen. And stolen by Alicia Gray. Outside McDonald. Howard. Shoots over Duchess. Howard, that's good. Clean look at the hoop and give props to McDonald, recognizing the open teammate. Now here's Ball Queen. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Now McDonald. Pass to Howard. McDonald. And here's Billings. Parker with the ball from deep. And Emma Misamon pulls it down. Now here's Duchess. Defense is right there. She powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. Yeah, she loves to attack the rim. Pass to Billings. 
Can't get it to go. She's taken two and missed two. Now here's Duchess. Gray defending. Misamon. And that one's good. Offensive versatility allows Misamon to play high or low in the paint. Gray outside. Howard. Back to Gray. Takes the three. Good on the three-point shot. Oh, we've seen Gray make huge strides shooting wise, becoming more than solid from beyond the arc. Ball clean up top, guarded by McDonald. To the wing on the left. Oh, you're inside. Howard's oh. there. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. And guys, how much weight should we put on these early season standings? Well, you have to give credit to the teams at the top. They found the winning formula. Now it's just about maintaining success. Yeah, I agree. But there's plenty of time for the standings to change. Some of these units have gotten off to a slow start because they're still learning how to play with each other. And the first one drops. Before the 2021 season, the Dream had an ownership change, a welcome fresh start for Atlanta. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And good on both. And interestingly enough, an ex-player is part of the new ownership group in Atlanta. Yeah, that's something I'd like to see more of going forward. Former players getting a chance to own teams. I think it would help the communication between the current roster and management. Now here's Durr. Low block shot. Sylvia fouls with the defensive effort. The Lynx with the lead. And here's Duchess. The screen by Collier. Pass to Duchess. Now here's Fouls. Parker defending. The jump hook. Offensive rebound. A beautiful reverse layup. That's what I love about Fouls. Her high motor keeps her constantly fighting for the ball, and she truly earned that second chance basket. Now here's Robinson. Shot clock at five. Back to Durr. Shoots the three. And good. Coming off the assist by Danielle Robinson. Well, when you have played in as many games as Danielle Robinson, your eyes light up when you see the open player. Collier outside. Pass to McBride. Right side of Chanwa. Oop. Anticipated the pass. Turnover. Outside Durr. Here's Coffee for three. Fouls with the rebound. Here's Duchess. Collier outside. Pass to Duchess. Five to shoot. Here's Achanwa. The shot, no good. Now the Dream take it the other way. Coffee right side. Robinson. Outside Parker. That's tipped. And the Lynx pushing it up now. Here's Duchess. That's in, and she's now three for three and looking sharp. It's a pleasure to watch her work at that end of the floor. Atlanta calls timeout. From 2011 to 2017, the Minnesota Lynx went on the best extended run in WNBA history, reaching the finals six of seven seasons, winning four titles.
side, Robinson. Pass to Durr for three. Parker, Minnesota grabs the miss. That one gives them a left side rebound advantage. Yeah, pretty clear. They've come out with a better energy and effort thus far. Miller. It's good. How can you stop that? With a crossover that quick, a defender has to be almost superhuman to stay in front of him. Going all in. That was the 2K drive, and it's well worth the second look. Well, as an offensive player, you always want to put pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Now here's Coffee. Quiet so far offensively, searching for first points of the game. Launches it. A nice shot by Durr. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Outside Powers. Miller, Robinson covering. Goes up on the baseline. Back to Powers. Fouls. Parker defending. Just five on the clock. And here's Kayla McBride from the arc. Rebounded by Coffee. The dream trail. Pass to Robinson. From deep three-point range, kept alive by Atlanta. Now here's Durr. The tray. And the three ball is good. Miller. And released it in time, but it's off the mark. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. Dream out in front. They lead by one. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And so far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter going. And looking at what we've seen from the dream, what do you guys think? I think the roof is up, but get some people some umbrellas. It has been raining in here. A lot of threes. Yeah, you know, I'm a huge umbrella guy, but hey, when it rains, it pours. And they haven't let up from beyond the arc. Minnesota trailing. Ball queen with the ball. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. On the wing, Kayla McBride. Green by Misaman. McBride with the ball. Coffee covering. McBride misses. In her first five WNBA seasons, Mia Coffey played in five different cities. Despite all that, Coffey's been a great three-point shooter and pretty solid on the glass as well. Now here's Ball Queen. She's covered closely. Misa on right side. On the wing, Kayla McBride. Back to Misa on. Fades and shoots. The shot's good. Mila McBride making the play. And learning to adjust to new surroundings, Nia Coffey has fought for her spot in the league. And Nia has dealt with every type of change. I mean, her team has moved cities. She's been traded, claimed off ravers, and she's been in free agency. So credit Coffey for being mentally tough. Now here's Ball Queen, guarded by McDonald. Screen by Cambage. The kick out to McBride. Over Gray. After two misses to start the game, she's on the board with that shot. A shooter who doesn't really need much space to be effective. McBride has a quick and accurate release. Now here's Coffee. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. They set the screen. Powers with it. Gray picks her up. Pass to Ball Queen. Doubled by Howard. Green by Misaman. Here's Powers. 
Alicia Gray with a defensive effort. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played. Six on the shot clock. And Powers pulls it down. The Lynx leading. Now here's Ball Queen. Pass to Misaman. Campaign. Now Ball Queen. Here's Misaman, defended by Coffey. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. And the Lynx making a change here. Three minutes of action thus far in the second quarter. Pass to Gray. Outside McDonald. Back to Gray. On the wing, Gary McDonald. Three on the clock. Trying to get back on track. The dream again can't hit. Now here's Duchess. She's guarded closely. Atlanta with the ball. Their defense has allowed only four points in the quarter. Back to Gray. McDonald. Gray outside. Eleven feet out, and she hits it. Developing nicely since entering the league, Gray has added some different elements to her game that are paying off on the court. Now here's Collier. They double his Cambage. Here's Misamun. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. Everybody always thinks it's passing that gets you assists, but also their movement off the ball, it's created those opportunities. Up top, McDonald, defended by Ball Queen. Out to Howard, pass to Gray. And the foul called on Duchess. That's her first foul. First team foul. Into the lineup for Minnesota. Number 14, Emily Instruments. at six. Gray up top. And it's good for two. Oh, nice size at the guard position at six feet. Gray with the ability to score down low. Looking back at the Atlanta franchise, they had an incredible run from 2010 to 2013, making the WNBA Finals three times in four seasons. They set the pick. Here's Collier. Out of bounds, it'll go to the dream. I think she was surprised to see that pass coming her way. She reacted too late. Both teams deciding to change it up. Atlanta leading. Outside Robinson. Howard. So she gets the whistle, contact on the way up, two shots, next. And during that dream run of WNBA Finals appearances, they never quite could get over the hump and grab a title. But man, those teams were special. Well, on that uh, 2013 team that lost in the finals, the dream had future all-stars like Jasmine Thomas, Tiffany Hayes, Alex Bentley, uh, just a loaded roster. No good on the free throw. You know, Ryan Howard has got a good sense for finding her shots, and she is always ready to attack, which means the defense essentially has to watch her at all times.
and she sinks the second. Now that we're a couple years out of the 2010s, one thing is very clear. The Minnesota Lynx were the team of the decade. Now here's Angsler. There's the triple. And it's Atlanta with the rebound. And here is Robinson. Pass to Howard. It's stolen by Ball Queen. Now Engsler. The three. Can't hit that one. Here's Howard. He has five. Durr with it. Howard with the ball. Robinson. Just five to shoot. Pass to Howard. Now Robinson. From deep. It doesn't go for her. Now here's Engsler, guarded by Howard. Engsler with it. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Now here's Robinson. Pass to Howard. 16 feet out. Yep, that one goes. You know, it wasn't the best start for her, but she's shaking it off here in the second. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Fouls with it. Pass to Ball Queen. Angsler to the left side wing. Ball Queen. Robinson covering. Now Howard. She's got seven. And here is Robinson. And here is Howard. And here is Billings. She's guarded by Angsler. And that one's good, Billings. Well, here in the second, they're showing some signs of life offensively. Yes, yeah, steadying themselves after a really tough first quarter. They're on the right track. Now here's Ball Queen. Pass to Duchess. Fouls. Parker defending. Can they get it? And the bank shot is good. Well, once the ball goes inside the fouls, there's not much you can do defensively. She's got height, experience, touch. The total package inside. Atlanta calls timeout. making a switch here. Substitution on the court. Outside Howard. Parker with the screen. 
Right side, Howard. Shot clock at six. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll be Link's ball. The first overall pick of the 2022 draft back in April of 2022. Ryan Howard hit the ground running. During her first week, Howard was the Easter Conference Player of the Week. Minnesota trailing. McBride outside. He fouls the screen. Left side powers. Jacks up a three. Sinks the triple. And with Ryan Howard, she had no trouble adjusting to the lead. Yeah, I think Howard's size really helps her out because she's 6'2", playing at the guard spot, and she's a tremendous athlete. Plus, you look at her three-point shots, it has really translated from the college level. Now, here is Robinson. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. And here's Ryan Howard from the arc. Rebound by the Lynx. Clock management, this is where they can get a two-for-one. I love the two-for-one. Every opportunity counts. On the wing, Kayla McBride, guarded by Durr. McBride misses. Atlanta leading. Here's Durr. And she converts the layup. Way to work the ball in close to the hoop. First half comes to an end. We've got a close game going on here. Dream out in front. They're up by three. And we will see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball in just a bit. Welcome back. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. I mean, you look at Durr, and she's been playing really well. Well, the threes have been falling for her at an incredible rate. That first half, absolutely ridiculous. And here in the second, she's got to just keep taking them and keep making them. There is no reason for her to stop. And it's been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. Now here's Ball Queen. Guarded closely. Oh, you're inside. Guarded by Howard. To the wing, right side. Pass to Duchess. For the tie. And Nafisa Collier with the three. And it's a tie ball game. Back-to-back -back three pointers for them. The defense is slacking off a little. You've got to respect that three or you'll give up points in a hurry. Now here's McDonald. Howard. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Duchess defending. Here's Gray. Excellent D there from Liz Cambage. Second half just getting started, about a minute play. Pass to Collier. Now here's Ball Queen. Misses off the left iron. Outside Howard. Here's Billings. Misam uncovering. And so she earns a trip to the line. Uh, official saw the contact, and first she'll shoot two. Teams first. That first one on Misaman. Well, you allow someone to get to the rim like that. And really, that's your only option. Yeah, free throws are always better than a layup. I, I would agree with that. Two. Two. 
That free throw, no good. In terms of the history of the Atlanta Dream, they went 4-30 in their expansion season back in 2008. However, the good news, they won the lottery for the 2009 draft. And she's good on the second. And winning that 2009 lottery meant that the Dream could select Angel McCautry with the first overall pick. Yeah, Angel helped turn things around quick in the ATL. In her first season, the Dream went to the playoffs. In her second season, Atlanta was in the WNBA Finals. McCautry really is the greatest player in Dream history. Now here's McDonald. The kick out to Parker. Pass to Gray. McDonald fires for three. Liz Cambage with the rebound. Ball queen up top, guarded by McDonald. And here's Duchess. For the lead, good on the triple. And so here's Atlanta. Outside McDonald. Pass to Howard. Now Billings. Gray outside. Here's Billings. Shoots over Misaman. The shot by Billings, no good. Not how you want to kick off the second half with three straight misses. Ball Queen with the ball. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And that's a foul called on Alicia Gray. That's her first foul. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. Timeout call for Minnesota. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Pass to Collier. Five on the clock. Over Howard. Collier can't get it to go. Well, she rushed that one. The D was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. Outside Howard. a three and no good and Minnesota the other way now here's ball queen a rebound by Ryan Howard the dream trail pass to Gray and here's McDonald Gray on the wing Ryan Howard defended by ball queen and the foul called on Duchess. That's foul number two for her. Second team foul. Into the lineup for Minnesota. Number 14. Gray 
Stay outside. Pass to McDonald's. Now Howard. Six to shoot. Back to McDonald. From outside the arc. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Now here's Ball Queen. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Takes it out to Collier. Nisaman. The putback. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. Now she stayed with it for some hard-nosed, tough basketball. Now here's Howard. She has seven. Pass to Billings. That one falls. <laughs> That's some good awareness from Howard right there. She is excellent at getting the ball to her open teammates. Now here's Ball Queen. Guarded by McDonald. Collier outside. Back to Misamon. Pulls up on the wing. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. With guard like perimeter shooting skills, Misamon continues to show how unique of a big she really is. And the dream call time here. Well, it's really hard to pick the best Lynx team in their franchise history, but I think I have to say 2017. They led the league in offensive and defensive rating. They went 27 and seven, and oh yeah, by the way, they won a title. Right outside. Pass to Duchess. Back to McBride. Now Duchess, Robinson covering. Shots good by Duchess. And beyond the numbers for the 2017 Lynx, the roster was just unreal. Oh, you look at that roster. I mean, you have multiple Hall of Famers. Defense anchored by Sylvia Fowles, one of the best defensive players ever. An offense that was efficient. That 2017 Minnesota team had it all. I think they're in the conversation for best WNBA team ever. More on the clock. Powers. Pass to Duchess. Back to Powers. Fouls the screen. To the middle. And stolen by Gray. Outside dirt. Out to Gray. McBride. Gray, that's good. And we need a moment to check out that drive one more time. That's incredible stuff. What a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration. The Lynx leading. 
And here's Duchess. She's got 11. Fouls the screen. And here's Kayla McBride from the arc. Green with the rebound. Outside Robinson. Both loose. Duchess with the steal. Right outside. Buries it down low. That's just great ball movement. And that's key to this run. Passing it with a purpose. The D has not been able to keep up. Now here's Robinson. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Puts it up from 15. No good that time. Now the Lynx take it the other way. Pass to McBride. Over Robinson. Robinson grabs the miss. She just continues to struggle from the field. Now, her team has been able to overcome her performance, but I'm not certain that she's going to be able to turn it around today. Now here's Durr. 11 points in the game. Puts up a three. That shot, no good. Here's Duchess. Powers, guarded by Durr. There's a screen. Pass to Duchess. Fires from deep. The shot comes out. The dream trail. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. Here's Durr. Let's it go from 11. Outside Robinson. Gray outside. Here's the three. Knocks down the three ball. Well, it's just what she does. Gray. She just scores points, providing a punch tonight, getting it done. Powers a screen. Trying her luck from deep. Gets a three-pointer to fall. Three One aspect of their play today that's been far superior is their passing. And that kind of flow, it can be elusive, uh, but the great offenses have it. And that's just what they've shown tonight. Right outside. From downtown, here's Fowles. And good work on the boards, and they pick up the second chance points. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Leaps ahead, up eight. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for the fourth quarter. The winner today coming from an unlikely source. It's the sweetest dime of the day. What a plus it is to have a post player who can pass like this. Yeah, it's a huge boost to an offense. It adds a whole other set of options to our team. Hello, and thanks for joining us again. The fourth quarter of play should begin in moments. Outside McDonald. Pass to Durr. Coffee outside. McDonald. Here's Durr. Off target with the three. Now here's Ball Queen. Guarded by McDonald. Ball Queen with the ball. by Misaman for three and Afisa Collier gets it to go from downtown a steady shooter from beyond the yard Collier's presence on the floor helps space it a big asset for this team pass to Durr now here's Howard covered by Collier now here's McDonald outside Durr screen by Coffey a nice shot by Durr the second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. 
Now here's Balqueen. Now Cambage. Over to the left wing. Misaman defended by Coffey. Misaman no good. We don't see that too often. Plenty of space and she whips on an open jumper. Pass to McDonald. Howard. She gets that one. You can always expect Howard to run the pick and roll with precision. She mastered it in college, but she's only gotten better in the pros. Now here's Ball Queen. Down low, Gambay. And she uses the glass on the layup. She is one of the best when it comes to making the sweet lead pass. And here are the dream. Up top, McDonald. Defended by Ball Queen. Back to McDonald. Howard. Now here's McDonald. Howard, covered by Collier. Shot from the wing. Howard misses. She kind of short-armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth quarter of this one. From 11 feet away, Here's Misaman, and it's good. Fought through the contact, hit the shot, and she'll go to the line. One shot. Well, in terms of Atlanta, the future of this franchise has to be Ryan Howard, the first overall pick of the 2022 draft. Timeout, Howard timeout. is a dynamic player. Atlanta calls timeout. Defense the Lynx. Pass to Howard. They set a pick. Now Pisa Collier with the block. Not today. Collier, a very good shot blocker. Really good with her timing. Parker, no good. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. Pisa on outside. the ball queen. Six on the shot clock. Miller hits it from three-point range. 
they can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Billings, Misama uncovering. Now Howard. Here's Durr. Outside McDonald. Shot to end the cold run. The dream again can't hit. Pass to Collier. Ball queen with the ball. Miller guarded by Durr. Rebounded by Parker. Well, despite her ineffectiveness, the team has found other scoring options. Outside Durr. Inside. Here's Howard. Good D by Emma Misamon. You know, it's not been the best quarter for her as far as uh, scoring. We'll see if she can get back on track. There's the foul. It's on Howard. That's foul number two for her. Second team foul. Substitution for Minnesota. Number three. Out to the left wing. Now here's Duchess. Guarded by Durr. There's the lob to the hoop. Pass to McDonald. And here's Billings. Out to the wing. Shot clock at six. Knocked loose. And stolen by Ball Queen. And the Lynx pushing it up now. Harry McDonald with some nice D. Left side, Howard. Clock at six. Looking to end the run. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Gotta love the aggressiveness. Howard is superb at getting fouled on the way up. And that one misses. The Dream making a switch here. And no luck that time either. Now here's Duchess. Tight defense on her. Well, shot blocking often comes down to anticipation and hustle. And that time, Gray showed both. McDonald. Back to Gray. Shoots over Duchess. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Ball queen up top, guarded by McDonald. Now ball queen. Pass to Collier. Now here's Cambage. And here's ball queen. Out of bounds, it'll go to the dream. McDonald. Pass to Howard. Now Parker. Gray in the post. Duchess defending. And that's a foul called on Alicia Gray. That'll be her second foul of the game.
Paul Green with the ball. Timeout, timeout. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. Yeah, coach wants to get everybody on the same page out there and maybe change up some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good timeout. You might as well talk things through. And, and kind of change that game plan as well. by Howard. Nafisa Collier on the wing. Six to shoot. Pass to Duchess. Collier. The three. <laughs> Diane Parker grabs the miss. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. To end the drought. And so she draws the foul on the shot. Uh, Tricks the line to shoot two. It's going to be on the Fisa Collier. That's a courageous play by Howard. Taking the foul, but still getting her shot in the air. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And she can't hit the second. So the Lynx now. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Duchess. Here's Misamon. Collier with it. Guarded by Howard. Shoots a fader. Collier can't get it to go. That's one she knows she should have drained. Now here's Howard. Here's the pick. Over Collier. Howard can't get it to go. This has not been a quarter to remember for her. I mean, what's going on right now? What is this? She's not making any sort of impact for them at that end of the court. Now, here's Miesemann. Pass to Ball Queen. Here's Cambage. Parker defending. Good work there as it goes. And that's got to be the nail in the coffin. I'd say so. They've done a great job of closing this one out, never backing off, even with the big lead. Here's McDonald. Howard. On the wing, Alicia Gray. Let's the three fly. Makes that one her sixth of the night, shooting a very healthy six for nine. You know, she's done a ton to help this team. But uh, if they're going to come back, she needs to do even more. Pass to Duchess. That shot missing. Ryan Howard with some nice D. Gray outside. 
Now Howard. Rebounded by Misamon. And they can just sit on the ball here. Enjoy it. They burn the win. No doubt. Now ball queen. So we see the Lynx taking the W here. And they came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. They really did show some mental fortitude. They were never rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that's a wrap, everyone.